Hello and welcome to my first ever declutter series. This is all of my eye makeup that I'm looking to either keep or give away or just throw out. I've had makeup just collect over the years and stuff like that. So if you see anything that you do want to see me try out, do let me know. A lot of them are fairly new and potentially untouched, unopened. So a part of me is getting rid of what I've got, but also seeing what I've got. I recommend that you sit down and enjoy or if you've got some tying up to do switch me on and leave me in the background but this is going to be a long video maybe grab a snack and I hope you enjoy. Moving on, we are going to look at all of my kind of eyeshadow and eyebrow products and any other miscellaneous pieces that go with your eyes kind of thing, eye makeup. So as late, when I have gone to these makeup events, I've just come to the realisation that, wow, I can actually do a lot with makeup, especially eyeshadow, and it will look stunning. Yeah, I've just put all the items that I'm planning to keep in here so far just to neaten up the space. This is gonna go with my Primark makeup. I wanna do a full face of Primark makeup and I think it's gonna be released before this video. Okay, so there's a lot going on here. I'm just gonna make this quick. Um, Elf is my go-to for eye makeup, I mean eyebrows. So I've probably brought at least, look at this, I think, look at this, I literally have three right here. There is literally three of these brow pencils by e.l.f. They're um, eyebrow gel, sorry. Three of them. And to be honest, I think this is actually another one. This is probably my first one. Yeah. This is probably e.l.f. So I was going to say, I think I've probably brought like four of these in my lifetime, if not maybe six. Every time I run out, I replace but because all of this is like meshed together, I just don't know where I'm at. And I think I actually brought a new one. So yeah, these are my go-to. When I can't even be bothered to fill in my brows, these gels have like, let me not use that one. This might not be e.l.f., you know, but there's a high chance that it is because it's got the same kind of labeling. But yeah, if we get one that's more fresh, you will see that there's actual kind of hair fibers. This eyebrow gel is a game changer. I'm just trying to prove that there's like, see if we take this one, you might be able to see the hair fibers. But yeah, there's like fibers on here. So it's really good. I love this eyebrow gel. I swear by it, live by it, so. I'm keeping them. Um, I'm going to declutter the ones that obviously have dried out or finished, but that will be um, done later in the day. This was a waste of money. No, I'm kidding. This basically doesn't get used because I don't actually have the full scara and it's mostly used for the full scara. And um, when I did have it, I just, it was. It was kind of hard to work with. I think I have the other products that you need for it around here somewhere. Somewhere here. But yeah, this one, I can't really declutter it. I'll just use it when I need to. I'm keeping it out of the packaging actually because it's a bit annoying. A bit annoying I can't even use it. So yeah, cute little bottle. Doesn't need all that extra stuff. Um, This is new. So obviously keeping this. Eyeliners, quite like, this was actually my favorite eyeliner. This one, put it in Primark. This is a Maybelline eyeliner. My favorite eyeliners are actually liquid ones. So yeah, this hasn't been opened. I might actually give this to my mum. I brought this as an experiment, but my mum loves using this kind of gel eyeliner, so. I'm probably not gonna come around to using it. I literally didn't even know I had it. But yeah, I'm gonna put these to the side and just see which ones are finished. 
this isn't my favorite brow gel let me just show you if there's any left it's just it just comes off too dark and way too watery so yeah i'm not really a fan of this one but um let me just just does too much and a little goes too far of away and just like that i gave myself blocky brows yeah i'm not a huge fan i'm gonna use it until it's done and i just know that it's not something i will repurchase this is actually really good to remove individual lashes it's by allure fresh pack of glue because you always need it this has gone on the wrong side um i don't know why these are still in this packaging but i might give these away um i already have some eyelash curlers these are from primark i yeah, know i was wrong these are definitely not from primark because it literally has like some text on there it's not focusing but yeah i will potentially just declutter these if i can find anyone that wants to this is what the unicorn cosmetic ones look like this is quite good but now it's just gonna stay in the packet i haven't used it um these are part of a mystery bag that i got from them i'm gonna put this in the unsure pile now i've got this um eyeshadow pigment from unicorn cosmetics this looks absolutely stunning literally look at the color so yeah i'm gonna keep this okay some more pound band makeup just gonna grab all of them you can see it all uh, this is from Poundland and this is from Poundland. Somehow I got two dark brown brow gels from Revolution and they are similar consistency. This one might be just a bit more friendly because the wand is smaller. It's just a bit too watery to be a gel and a bit too dark to blend with my eyebrows. That's what I was finding. So I wasn't a huge fan, but I will keep them because... If there's one thing I like to do is just neaten up my eyebrows before I leave the house. You know, neat eyebrows is all good for me. Um, so yeah, here's some of these Poundland products. So we've got mascara here, we've got eyebrow pencil, you've got an eyeliner, some um, more eyeliners to be fair. I'm just gonna check if any of these are still usable. Yeah, we actually have another eyeliner. This is in brown. I'll definitely keep this because i really do want to try just having brown eyeliners and just swatch that for you absolutely stunning keeping this one i kept this because i don't know what in the elf happened but i'm going to be de declaring i'm throwing this away because <laughs> it's finished i actually really liked this but um it does show what can happen to makeup when you do use it i mean leave it over time for too long this is literally like almost a science experiment but yeah um love elf don't love a clear gel whether it's for your brows or lashes we need some pigment this is as good as done literally <laughs> what literally this is finished but the brush is really good though i quite like a brush like this for my curly eyelashes okay so i'm gonna swatch these two for you this is the black gel liner it's probably going to take a few kind of tries but yeah this is just the general kind of look of it and um i think i'll keep this one it's not really wowing and it does have a lot of kind of mess you can see it's kind of splattered everywhere but yeah i think i should have shaked up first to be fair that was my own fault um learned from my mistakes i'm going to test out the gold okay let's see how this is oh yeah oh that's beautiful that is absolutely imagine this either on the waterline or just as eyeliner yeah i'm definitely keeping these these are from poundland um the thing is they probably don't dry down very good as you can see but 
I mean, it's a pound. I, I don't mind. I don't mind as of now. Maybe my feelings would change. But yeah, I can just expect that taking a while to dry down or just requiring setting spray. Now we've got an eyebrow pencil and an eyeliner. I'm just gonna swatch these out. That's the eyebrow pencil, very dark. This is the eyeliner. One moment. So yeah, I would, this is the eyeliner and this is the eyebrow. Um, I would use the eyebrow and the eyeliner as lip liners, especially um, for, yeah, yeah, definitely for eyeliner, for the lips. This one transfers a bit less, but yeah. Here is a single shadow palette, literally hanging by thread. And you guessed it, I will be keeping it. doesn't swatch very good though maybe i'll declutter it because it does require a lot of layering up but i think i think it's quite a nice shade just a very simple brown but for now i'm gonna put it as declutter it's literally on its last legs oh my gosh this is actually all the hype by the way bare brows or maybe it was the hype but listen i'm always late to a trend so i will happily make this relevant again unicorns cos the unicorn cosmetics brow gel comes with the cutest applicator let me just show you the product and how beautiful is the packaging first of all oh i was cracking on a clear brow gel but th this is an exception because i can't believe i just did that <laughs> no but seriously though Obviously, if you use this before you apply makeup, it would help clean, keep the product clean. But yeah, my main point was the idea that my product was clear and it just really picked up a lot of dirt and stuff like that because you have to push it back in. So maybe it was the design of the product, not necessarily the product itself. This clear gel, this, <laughs> getting my words tongue tied, this clear brow gel is definitely a win. I think it would be cool to get my hands on the honey, the honey one. I don't remember who made it, but the honey brow gel is also being raved about on TikTok. Um, I'm going to put all the mascaras to the end because I'm just like getting lots of different random stuff right now. It's probably quite confusing. Completely forgot I owned that mascara. I'm going to go into the primers pretty quickly gonna take this out of the packaging this is what you would use to prime your lids before applying the glitter palette that i showed you i wore on my birthday so yeah this is what you would put on before then definitely keeping that because i don't even know if i used this even though i should have i probably did i could see that it's been a bit used so yeah use this glue to apply that beautiful glitter palette here are a few eyeshadow primers that i have they are, I was going to say they're all from Mod Revolution, but these two are Revolution. This is from Models Own. In the order that I got them, I received this one first. Um, I mean, I brought this one first when I was just testing out eyeshadows. So, um, yeah, but I'll still be keeping this. It doesn't smell very good, but it actually looks like it's got its use, to be fair. Let's just see how it kind of plays out. The thing is, it's got a lot of pigment to it. I think I'll keep this um to be fair i actually haven't shopped for models own in a while i don't really remember where i got this like where i was when i got it or if i ordered it online but yeah i'll be keeping that one then i got this one as a gift i like that this is a more clear base in fact i, sh I think i wiped off that one a bit too fast so i'm just going to show you the different colors that they are the eyeshadow primers because I think the more nude the base is, the more that it can kind of blend with the skin tone. This is really quite a shiny reflective base. So I'm not too sure how the eyeshadows will hold up with it. But yeah, it's an eyeshadow primer. I'll be keeping them all just to kind of cut the crease. 
these are both from revolution but this one seems the most watery i think it's because it's the newest one but yeah and these were both as a part of gift sets so yeah definitely excited to try these out you know if you don't have an eyeshadow primer you can always use concealer to cut a crease or create a base for your eyeshadows but these are just to make it like the company just wants to make more money they just want to give you all the tools they don't want you to have i mean it's it's actually crazy because the industry has changed to the point where you can have a two-in-one um cheek and lipstick so you can use one product to be applied on your lips or on your cheeks but then they also want to give you an eyeshadow a lip palette or a blusher palette you know if that do you get what i'm trying to say like these days they want to compact all of them and make the products multi-use so you have less products to use by making them multi-use but then they also want to give you like every single product that you would have needed kind of thing but yeah i'm gonna go on to the eyebrows now gosh i said i wouldn't buy any more of these and i literally have three now so there is a good chance that i might declutter this because as i already mentioned i do have a new eyebrow gel on the way this has avocado oil in it so yeah i do want to give this one away it doesn't mean that the product's bad it's just not the best for me i don't know why i accidentally picked up another one like this product is good but for my eyebrows um it just it's a bit too dark for me even though it's brown okay so i'm gonna gather all of the brow pencils and then i will come back as you can see this is another brow gel that was in clear lash and brow gel i'm declaring this i it's finished you know i made good use of it i actually like this there's actually no shade to either of these products it's just yeah my go-to now is brown or colored eyebrow gels just because it's a multi-use thing i can fill in my brows while shaping and keeping them in place that's literally it to clear up that um moving on to brows this is just an eyeshadow pigment i'm going to keep it i'm just going to stuff it in there moving on to brows this is a brow pencil probably got it in the hair shop probably using it as mm, i'm probably not using this as lip liner to be fair i just want some like glue to stick that end on because i actually really like this it's barely been used obviously like yeah it's been used it has been used yeah i just want to keep that together this is new see told you keeping it 100 percent um i don't know what brand this is i thought it was revlon or something but oh yeah it's rimmel so this is rimmel london new eyebrow product want to try that out models own this is a brown eyeliner pencil eyebrow pencil i just want to see how brown it is because it might be the perfect lip shade it's pretty deep i just tested it out and yeah this is going to be kept to be used on my brows here's the packaging that it was in i'm gonna throw that away now i mean i feel like i should keep stuff in the packaging because they um keep them a bit more separate can't fault this product still a lot left gonna be keeping this one this is just um again a part of revolution's relove range the other claire brow gel was also relove my favorite eyebrow products are from elf as i mentioned this is the pencil this is actually my favorite pencil i like this pencil more than i like the other one which i cannot find right now how hard is that this one this over this this over this a million times um but yeah keeping this one because there's still a lot of product in there i guess i just want like unlimited eyebrow supply okay this is still going i actually thought it was finished but it just winds up pretty slowly still going i think it's still going oh my god look at the amount of product that is a lot to be fair like i said i've actually really used a lot of these stuff like because i've used them so often um it's gonna look like there's not a lot in there but really obviously it's just because it's getting used on like the eyeshadow palettes so yeah just one to bear in mind and i have to wind this down 
regretting my life choices right now i'm nervous that this is the wrong shade for me so tempted to declutter but i'm thinking to keep it with my already pre-owned stuff because this is new it's just going to be in the onshore kind of situation right now um use this use it to be honest i kind of like that shade for a lip liner but they're both so deep it's literally a mix between this brown and that black shade so i will just be keeping it as a kind of cheaper eyebrow pencil actually i think this is ramal again yeah i think the I think that is literally an older version of the Rimmel London one. How did I not know? So I just don't really use this one, but I will be using it a bit more because obviously now I've got a fresh one and I had no idea. Okay, so I've got brow pomade. Used it a few times, but not something I gravitate towards. I do want to pick it up more though because it might help fill up brows but i'm just worried it will give that blocky effect which is why i don't steer towards it okay, this is in here unopened so this is just a backup of another eyebrow pencil um yeah i'm gonna keep that for when it runs out and this is also unopened let me just check the products in there because it feels so empty We've just got a replacement in here and it's not being used. This is how it should look, the wand, the brush. So yeah, I have a lifetime supply of eyebrow pencils. I hope I remember that instead of buying any more. If I do declutter, it would be this one because I'm just not a huge fan of the shape of these. But um, to be fair, I want to hold on to them just in case my love for it comes back and this is just a brow wax it came in a gift set that i mentioned i got um i'll see how these ones perform i'm not really too used to using these type of products but yeah and then we've got um an on-the-go brow kit i thought it was absolutely cute barely used it but doesn't mean that can't change and it comes with a highlight which is nice so it's got a cream a powder and a highlight i would give this one away but it's just too obvious that it's been used so i'm just going to try to make more use of it these are just some tweezers to apply lashes was going to declutter them but this might be good to use when i'm using individuals they just need a little bit of a clean i will keep these and i'll keep them aside so that i remember to clean them okay moving on let's move on to the glues since we are talking about lashes this is supposed to be a lash glue so you're supposed to use this and then stick some lashes on but in my experience it just hasn't it hasn't done the job so um here's some fibers oh well i mean it's getting tacky maybe i need to wait for it to dry so i don't know that just hasn't lived up to what i was expecting i'm gonna give this time to dry it looks ridiculous i know but yeah we're just gonna test it out in the meantime the ardell lash glue um hasn't always agreed to me when i've applied it on my eyes i picked up two of these because i lost one and then i really wanted to replace it because they were like i think these are like 80p or a pound they might have gone up but yeah these aren't these two the super drug lash glue isn't my favorite but it's affordable and it does do the job to be fair so i'll be keeping them my new and improved favorite lash glue is actually from tatty lashes literally beautiful slim applicator so yeah that's my favorite lash glue and i've been using it quite a lot recently 
so i'm gonna put that on hold because i don't even remember i got this from i think i got it from pretty little thing but yeah i will probably need to re-up on this one um duo super drag i don't know if it's the bottle but these lash glues just tend to make my eyes water but i think i can trust these two a bit more i think what the issue is is that for some reason these kind of glues just take that little bit more longer and patience to dry but yeah i'm just going to keep all of them because if they're not finished i can't really throw them away um i mean i can but they need like they have use they have purpose uh this lash glue i don't really know where it's from let's see if it's still usable yeah this might be my one of my strongest lash glue i just don't know where the hell it's from so um yeah but i'm gonna keep this i think it'll be good to apply individuals and stuff and it's travel size like imagine you just want to bring some lash glue with you you can fill this up refill it and when you're on the go just pop this in your bag a beautiful travel sized lash glue. like don't get me wrong look at the size of it lash glue is already travel size but can we see how much of a miniature this is Okay, moving on to this now i mean it's sticking but i know i can pull it off look look look, look closely so if i just grip it but yeah it it could potentially work i'm not gonna knock it just yet maybe i haven't given that lash glue a fair shot it's just in my experience lining my lids and then applying the lash with this hasn't been very good i think i got this lash glue from a hair shop um i like the fact that it's a brush on glue so i'll just be keeping it i think i'm gonna sort of section my lash glue so i have the ones i just want to use first um to get them out the way and just start using them same with eyeshadow palettes i just want to start like putting a sort of rotation on them so they do get their use and this is to remove eyelash it um it says clay eyelash yeah this is to remove eyelash extensions and i think i've used it but i'm just going to keep it in the packaging because obviously it will come with the instructions on the back and yeah um so yeah these are to keep okay so since we're on lashes let's look at my mascaras I've actually not got that much which is a shock because i really stock up on mascaras but the thing is i've become lash obsessed so as you can see the lash glue is really there <laughs> just for the lashes um but yeah so again as mentioned i did test out the relove range i tested it out more so on my tiktok there is some products in the relove range that are really for keeps um an example is their powdered kind of foundations or contour palettes um i love them literally i use it all the time um it's like one of those go-to items if i want to contour but yes this is the mascara keeping it and this one i think dried out unfortunately look at that it's got a bit of color on the end but it's pretty much dried out so um definitely giving it the use this yeah this is still pretty fresh it's still pretty wet i'm gonna use this one keep this one this is part of the sativa range don't know if i could say that you know i'll just say this is part of the sativa range i don't even know if i could say that this is part of the range yeah i'm keeping this one this mascara is probably on its last legs it's the Too faced one and yeah it's still got a little bit of moisture to it so i'm gonna be keeping it because this mascara does what it says is what it do i like it keeps Ooh, it's for keeps it's actually starting to literally like not want to come off my hand to be fair i haven't used this mascara that much but i have like popped it in my bag it's for keeps you can hear it it's got that good good this is yeah these two and three actually have not been used and if this one has been used i don't remember using it i haven't even taken this out of the packaging so let's have a look what this looks like so that i can put it back inside the box okay so here's what it says it do on a bit let's take a look oh 
<laughs> it just looks exactly like the image same size and everything actually it's a bit it's a bit bigger than the image now it's telling on itself it's a liar let's look at the ones of all of these new mascaras that i haven't used slash opened okay this is a nice wand i want to keep it on the packaging again because i just don't want to get confused with things like i want to use the older ones so i can throw them out and then keep the newer ones for when i'm actually ready to use them more consistently this is new as well nice wand close them tight and this is also new actually i might have used this a few times i can see around the edge but yeah i'm excited to use this more often last but not least we have some eyeliners and shadow products to be honest i wasn't hard enough on myself i haven't really decluttered that much but again a lot of these stuff are new and fresh like yeah even this one um these are some eyeliner pencils from makeup revolution there's a purple and a pink shade in the corner when I'm ready to use these, I will take them out the box more permanently. Uh, but let me just show you the colours quickly. So here, here's what it looks like. We have these shades right here. So yeah, I'm actually very much excited to use these, by the way, because I've started to quite like the ideas of colored water lines and liner so definitely want to try this out okay here are some black liners i i do like to line my black oh okay at least this is getting used um i do quite like to line my water line it doesn't really matter the color that it is this is a liquid liner just want to check some of them aren't dried oh pigment yes yes come through pigment keeping those gonna test these ones okay this is oh i want to say it's dry but it, it just takes a few tries so i'll use this one first and then keep the other one for a bit longer but yeah um again it just comes down to like trying to remember this one hasn't been opened but this is a blue eyeliner this is a pink eyeliner Still different to the ones that I already own. This is a white. To be fair, I literally just smushed the whole thing. Um, but let's just let's just smudge it out. Okay. It's actually kind of golden to be fair. And for some reason it's still in the wrapper, but it's damaged um but yeah i don't know why i did that this one's from barry m i think it's like a champagne shade it's called champagne so yeah that's that one made a bit of a mess let me make it look a bit cleaner and then we've got these two eyeshadow cream eyeshadows excited to use these again came as a gift we've got a white eyeliner from revolution i've used it a little bit i can just see and tell oh look at the pigment absolutely stunning absolutely stunning can't wait to use this a bit more this is a gel eyeliner just want to quickly take out the packet so i can see what kind of gel eyeliner this is um i mean where is it don't know what's happening here this takes forever to wind up and when it does it just breaks okay i was wrong it doesn't always break but yeah nope it broke um it's quite dry and it says it was a gel liner you probably can't see it but it's basically like just there it's not fixing but yeah um the fact that it's fresh out of the packet and it's doing that's a bit frustrating oh i see maybe you're not supposed to wind it up that much but yeah to be fair it's quite nice i'm just gonna keep it and try to understand it 
I'm going to set aside the ones that I want to use first. And last but not least, we have this little mixed pigment. It's not being used. Um, I want to use it now. But it's a bit, a bit ashy. Let's try to get a bit more. Yeah, we didn't really end on a high note with some of those. But I'm definitely going to set aside the stuff that I just want to use first. Just wanted to say I'm wiping it off and these two have actually really left a mark. Like they are not really going anywhere. They're not really budging. Okay, that one. So if we go back to the swatch, then you will see. Yeah, that one's a tough one, a tough cookie. And I'm using the full scara to remove it. It has oil infused. So yeah, that's really pigmented. If you want a good stay all day liner, keep that one grab that one so my car has come to ruin the video but yeah there was this clear eyebrow gel as well by uh, revolution hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching do not forget to like comment and subscribe and stick around and hit that notification bell down below so you do not miss a time when i upload and i'll see you next time deuces from shay